uh, this will be a really brief video. I just wanted to uh, congratulate the workers of the Volkswagen plant in Chattanooga. Um, I don't know if you've seen this on the news or um, heard about it, but uh, the UAW tried to organize a union here and um, sorry I'm looking for my screwdriver to open this can but anyway we are not all that uh, excited about unions in the south we are more uh, freedom loving people <laughs> and uh, our Volkswagen plant has been very successful so far without a union and I was going to go so far as to document the success of the plant uh, if the union had succeeded. I was going to document before and after because we've already had success um, here, or Volkswagen has. And before you start feeling sorry for the workers there, they actually get paid more than uh, as if they were part of the union. So I don't know if that had anything to do with it. I kind of doubt it because people who are, you know, stuck on having a union, typically it's more of a political decision for them than it is uh, monetarily necessarily. And the reason I say that is because typically also with unions come other types of benefits, I guess. I'm not, the, I'm not an expert on it, but I just know that was not the driving factor. The driving factor for us in the South with, you know, with regards to unions is that we just are philosophically opposed to them. So it's that simple, really. And uh, if anybody tries to tell you otherwise, they, they'd be lying to you. <laughs> the thing about it is, I actually, I'm actually surprised, and I, and honestly, my opinion of unions grew just a little bit better when I when they released the results so quick. You know, I figured this would be a true, um, a true union type fashion. Um, the results, if it was voted down, would not be released right away, and they were. Um, so I'm a, I appreciate that. I will say I do appreciate. Look how beautiful that's turning out to be. I do appreciate that. I have to say, and I'm surprised. So the thing about it is, I was going to say is that the union was allowed unfettered access, uh, and you can read about this in the news stories. Um, as you know, Germans don't mind unions at all. It's not that they encourage them; they just don't. It's, it's kind of part of their culture to have a, you know, that sort of socialistic uh, uh, atmosphere going on. And so they actually allowed the unions, you know, access to the employees. I mean, it was, it was crazy, from what I understand. And that was one of the arguments that the opponents made was that they had hardly any access to the workers to make their point. Um, and people fussed at Bob Corker or fussed about Bob Corker being so vocal. Well, <laughs> he's an elected representative, people. Uh, we want him to speak. We elected him to speak on these matters. So I appreciate him being vocal, too. Because how am I supposed to, you know, I'm, a, I'm an anti-union also. How am I supposed to uh, get my point across or my opinion? Of course, I don't work there and it's not my company. And I'm a, I am believe in freedom <laughs> for, those of, for the company. See, this is the difference between we conservatives and libertarians and liberals. I believe that Volkswagen has the right to do whatever they want. As long as they're not hurting anybody, obviously. And I believe that those employees have the right to do whatever they want. If they want to form a union, 
that's fine, it's their mind. Just because I'm philosophically opposed to the concept uh, does not mean that if they had voted for the, I would have been upset, obviously, because we, we really don't appreciate the culture that you need to bring. Um, it's such a contentious culture, and it's just hard to explain. And I have been involved early on. I was asked to join the, the Carpenters Union here back when I was 18 years old. And I basically, I went for an interview. They had a test at that point that was, I think, nine or ten pages of math that was actually designed to exclude people. That's my opinion. Um, it was basically a good old boys club where you're, if you were a... a you know, an older gentleman or and you had a son or a, a relative in the union already, then you basically got in. But if they didn't want you in, they had a test that would just about keep any, you know, typical construction worker out. And that's, I don't have any proof for that. That's just the culture. That's the way it feels, okay? So I do have some experience um, with this. So... Anyway, uh, I just want to thank the, you know, Volkswagen, because the funny thing about it is when they were first starting at Volkswagen, even before they started, you know, building the plant, the, uh, the Germans came over and they moved into our neighborhoods pretty close by and their, and their kids went to Normal Park, so we got to know not not closely, but kind of understand their their sort of culture a little bit, and they really love Chattanooga. I mean, it's they chose, um, and and Bob Corker, Senator now Senator Bob Corker, um, was our mayor, and he is the was very instrumental, and as a matter of fact, I would say I would give him more credit than anybody on bringing the Volkswagen here. And trust me, the fact that there were no unions in, in Tennessee, uh, had a, I'm pretty sure had a great deal to do with the fact that they came here in the first place. Now, Volkswagen has said that they, they, they support it, obviously. They, they wholeheartedly supported it. They gave all this access to the UAW during the process. And I, honestly, I thought it was all but... I just figured it was a done deal, as much access as they had, and I and so I want to thank those employees for taking, you know, for having the gall to and having the wherewithal to um, just say no. And uh, anyway, this is a uh, I think this is coat number three, and uh, after this dries, I'll put at least two more coats. And uh, what were some of the questions I was getting? Oh, people were asking me why I wasn't bluing these metal parts. I, I just don't want to. <laughs> it's that simple. <laughs> uh, I, I don't want... If I were to blue this, it would, it would just take away the character. It would make it all dark looking. You would still see you know, shadows where the pits are, but you wouldn't get the contrast of the rust and the you know the metal that's hasn't been decayed or you know pitted and I really think I'm going to enjoy this contrast here of the steel and when the when the bands wrap around this they'll be dark I'm pretty sure they won't I'm, I'm not going to sand them down I'm just going to clean them so you know you'll have that um, contrast so <clears throat> So that's coat number three, and it's really looking good. Loving it. It's the nice thing about uh, you know linseed oil finish is that you don't have to be careful. You know I'm rubbing it in, I'm turning it over, you know laying it on the t-shirt, and that's just part of the process. You know it really makes it pretty. Um, the soft cotton t-shirt rubbing against it as a you know, moving around kind of helps to soften the glow. 
So anyway, she's a pretty. Nice.